So now we want to show the number of transactions per week. And you know, we did use something like that for the text box we have above here, right? So we now want to display this number of transactions by day of week. But let me uh, explain how we're able to use count distinct the other time and why we actually use count distinct. So if I come over here to our data view and I scroll to the left hand side. So every single uh, transaction has its own order ID. Okay. But sometimes you will see that some other IDs are repeated. So for example, this other ID is repeated three times, but then the same order is being carried out by the same customer obviously the reason why it's repeated three times is because this customer is picking up three different products so just like when you go to a store and you go to make a payment you pick up several um products in your basket and then you make one single payment right you know at the point of payment they have to scan the products that you have picked but it is the same you and your transaction can count as a single transaction with multiple products so if i want to count how many transactions it's not probably not ideal for me to count this transaction as three transactions rather we would like to count it as a single transaction so if i scroll to the uh, right hand side now you are going to see that everything about this transaction is the same all the way the only difference you are going to find is when you get to the product information and you are also going to see that at that point in time once you get to the product information you see the product ids are different and that's why you also have differences in sales values and the quantity and the discount and the other values that we have there so if we go to our report view now and we want to create something like that the first thing I want to do is because I want to use a similar chart to this one I'm going to select this chart and I'm going to control C to copy it then control V to paste it so the other one is there now I just simply need to drag it out and put it at the bottom of this right so all I need to do next is to ensure that the size is exactly the same thing as the one that is beside this one now the next thing I want to do is I'm still reporting by day name but I'm no longer reporting average of sales so I'm going to remove average of sales what I want to report now is by order ID. So I'm going to go to look for my other IDs uh, and I'm going to drag it right here into the Y axis. You will see that by default, it's doing a count of the other IDs because the only thing that can happen to a column that contains text that is not a numbers column when you put it on your value axis is to do a count. But we don't really want to do a count here. So again, I will click on this drop down. And I'm going to change the summary from counts to counts distinct. Then I have that I can go to format and I can go to general and change my title from what it is currently to. So I'm just going to type NO transactions by day of week. Then let me move into focus mode and let's see if everything is actually accurate. As you can see, everything is not accurate because our conditional formatting is still using the one we copied earlier so i'm going to have to come uh, back to the visual section of my formatting i will scroll down to columns when i expand columns the conditional formatting is still there and it's still using the previous one so when you want to edit your conditional formatting you have to click on the fx button again right if you want to clear it out you can basically use this remove conditional formatting right so if i click remove conditional formatting now you will see that the conditional formatting is gone and the default color is back and i have to click on fx again to start all over again but i want to assume that we just want to edit this conditional formatting so i can go over here and do my last change by clicking on that undo button so the conditional formatting is back here i will go back to the columns and instead of clearing the conditional formatting i'm going to click on the fx button so that i can edit it right i'm still using gradient but it is no longer based on the average of sales it is now based on the count of other ids but the type of count is not really a count it is a distinct count or count distinct then i'm going to click ok and then we basically have 
the right values to display so it seems right now that the number of transactions per day of week is ranging from the lowest of 182 transactions in a day up to 920 at its peak and our lowest day currently is between tuesday and wednesdays monday is heavy thursday friday saturday and sunday are also heavy i'm going to go back to reports then one thing is also not uh, at its best right now and that's basically the title of this range so what i'll do is i'll go and look for legend when i expand legend i will expand the title under the legend and i'm just going to call this one range i think i should make the same change for the first one here and we now have all the charts that we need on this report page the next thing we are going to try to talk about is the interactivity between the reports page and how we can apply filters on our reports.